Colorado and Summertown battle for the district crown. The Lawrence County softball team looks to make it into their district championship game. Plus, the UNA softball team took on one of the best teams in the country. It's coming up next on Exports Tonight. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm AJ Good starting things off with high school softball where Loretto and Summertown were meeting up once again in the district championship game. The Lady Eagles are going to have to knock off the Lady Mustangs twice to take home that crown, but Lady Mustangs were trying to make a little bit of history tonight. Lady Mustangs and Lady Eagles meeting up in Summertown with the district title on the line. Here in the top of the first, Emily Kozar going to send a single in to right. That brings home Briley Dover, giving the Lady Mustangs an early one to nothing lead. Still in the top of the first this time with the bases loaded, Addison Bowie grounds to second. Would avoid the double play, adds another run. It's a two to nothing Loretto lead. Now to the bottom of the second, two on for Mackenzie Reynolds. She sends this double into the left center field gap. That rolls all the way to the wall, scores two, tying the game up. At two. Now to the bottom of the third. Base is loaded here for Caitlin Gillum. She would draw a ball four. That would allow Reagan Burleson to score. Lady Eagles now lead at three to two. Moving ahead now to the bottom of the fifth. It's Gillum again. This time a double down the left field line. That would bring home Chelsea Atkinson. The Summertown lead is now out to four to two. But in the top of the sixth, Loretto makes a comeback with 2-1. J.B. Clifton with the single to center. That would score Dover, cutting the lead down the 4-3. Then Jesse Chance is going to come on down and score on a wild pitch. That ties the game up at four apiece. In the bottom of the sixth, Summertown would respond with the bases loaded. Atkinson with a single into center. That would score a pair of runs as Summertown would force a game two, taking game one 6-4. Now in game two in the top of the third, one on for Briley Dover, and she sends a two-run shot over the fence and left, giving the Lady Mustangs a two-to-nothing lead. Now in the bottom of the third, Mackenzie Runnels. She's going to send a single here in to right. That would score Erica Abbott from second. That cuts the Lady Mustang lead down to two to one. Now in the bottom of the fifth, two on for Hannah Lindsay. She lines this single into right center. That would score two, giving Summertown a three to two lead. The game was halted in the bottom of the fifth with two outs due to rain. Decision on the outcome of this game will be made in the morning. Now heading over to Lawrenceburg, where Lawrence County was in Lewisburg tonight in their district semifinal taking on Page. The Lady Cats are looking to upset the Lady Patriots and etch their name into the district championship game and go to the region tournament next week. Lady Cats taking on Page for the right to play Lincoln County in the nightcap. Here on the top of the first, Miley Staggs flares a single here into right. That would score Michaela Kerr, giving the Lady Cats a one to nothing lead. Top of the fourth, tie to one. Riley Myers lays down the sack bunt. That will allow Staggs to score. So Lady Cats now lead it two to one. Bottom of the six, two one for Carissa Fight. Lays down the bunt. The throw at first is dropped. Dolly Platts would score off of that. Fight would take off for second, and that would allow Cameron Fight to come on down the score, and the Patriots would eventually go on to win this one 3-2. to two. Coming up next, we head on over to college softball, where UNA was back in the A-Sun tournament. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Avalon, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 460. Team Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. This is the good life. It's time for some straight talk about zero turn mowers. Husqvarna zero turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy duty frame and chassis, commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight up deal on the best in professional zero turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. 
For the best at home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. Southern Tennessee Orthopedics welcomes orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Paul Thomas. Count on Dr. Paul Thomas, podiatrist, Dr. James Markstill, and nurse practitioner, Doug Eid at Southern Tennessee Orthopedics to keep your life in motion. Injuries and foot pain can rob you of the activities you enjoy most. So our team is here, close to home, to address the pain and to get you moving again. Southern Tennessee Orthopedics, from the routine to the unforeseen, you can count on us. To learn more, visit southerntennesseemedicalgroup.com or to schedule an appointment, call 931-762-4400. From the X-Sports Network, this is the North Alabama Report, presented by First Class Charter. Welcome back to X Sports and I now over to college softball where UNA was playing once again in the A-Sun tournament this afternoon. The Lions were trying to get into the conference semifinals, but the 18th ranked team in the country in Central Arkansas stood in their way. Lions trying to stay alive in the tournament, taking on the 18th ranked Sugar Bears of Central Arkansas. Top of the first, Lawrence County's Georgia Land here with a single into left. That scores Felicity Frame. The Lions now lead this one one to nothing. And it's Gracie Benton. Going to line the single here into right. That would score Land from second, and North Alabama is in control with a two to nothing lead. Now, in the bottom of the second, Lawrence County's Macy Burdishaw is going to strike out Jaylee Ingalls here to end the inning. Now, in the bottom of the fourth, it's Burdishaw getting Morgan Nelson to end the frame. In the bottom of the seventh, Burdishaw strikes out Colleen Bear to end the game. She would go the distance in a shutout, striking out six. The Lions advance to play Liberty tomorrow in the semifinals with a two to nothing win. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.